So I went to see Car Boot Sale again today and I bought a lot so I'm going to share with you all of the things I've picked up. I also bought a really big furniture item which I'll show you in a second um, but first I want to show you this painting I got. So this was £10, it's got the most beautiful ornate frame that I've ever seen on a painting before and I'm saying painting, it's actually a tile so it's like a big slab of tile in the middle. It's got a stamp on it which says Vienna Deutsch Utsch um, 01470 and it's a big slab of tile which has been painted and it's beautiful and I thought it was a bargain at £10. There was a couple on his table, I wish I bought more um, but I've just done a quick google search and I'm pretty sure it's worth something so if you know anything about this or those stamps on the back let me know um, but I thought that was a really good bargain at £10. The next three things I got are very similar um, but they're these blue and white frame tiles. These are from Holland, it says Moser Holland on the back, like that. Um, and there's just three blue tiles in the middle. I've seen these before from a different seller and they wanted £5 each for them. I got these for a pound each. This one has horses and stables on. That one has clog making. And then this one is sheep shearing. So a pound each for those. I also got a blue on my plate so I picked this one up because it was just a singular plate just to put on display in our new cabinets in the dining room but I thought that was really beautiful it's Crown Sussex England Old Village genuine hand graven and that was only 50 pence so I couldn't pass that up and it's a really nice blue colour another thing I got for 50 pence is this cheese board and cloche I think it's called that's what my mum was calling it um, but it's just this plain wooden board it's got Leicester Cheddar Lancashire Cheshire Gloucester and Stilton cheese wrote along the side um, and then this just sits on top although I don't actually think it's the right stand for it because it doesn't fit in the ridges properly but I got that for 50 pence and I thought I'll just flip it upside down and have it on display like that it looks a lot nicer that way anyway or I could just put it on a blue plate like that that's very cute that was only 50 pence um, next so let's move on to some brass things because we all know how much I love brass on this channel and I picked up these beautiful wall sconces so I've seen lots of things like this on American Thrift videos and they're not that easy to come by in the UK but I came across these solid brass on eight ones and they're just the most beautiful design and they have a candlestick holder on the end instead of needing electricity and properly getting fitted in so I thought these would be nice for our dining room we've got two walls either side of the entryway and I'm thinking just on the wall with some nice candlesticks in they'd look really nice so I'm going to polish them up and get them looking super shiny um, the guy wanted £10 for these and I walked away regretted it went back a couple minutes later picked up the one that I was holding earlier and it was fine picked up the second one to buy it and it was actually broken so this just wasn't attached um, he tried to fix it he couldn't fix it so I said would you take a fiver since they're broken and I thought my dad could fix them and he did take a fiver and then my dad fixed them within two minutes of being home so a really good bargain on them and they just need a nice polish the next thing I got is another book. So I've been collecting books and somehow they're all green themed. So I found this one today, it's The Wind in the Willows by Kenneth Graham. I've never read it but I know it's a classic and it'll match all the other books that I've been collecting. And it's one that I would like to read in the future and that was only 50 pence so I picked it up. And it's got the most beautiful little illustrations inside, little mouse. And I thought for 50p that's just a really nice book to have in my collection. Um, the next two things I got were from the same lady, these were a pound each, they're just some white pot houses. I'm going to put these with our Christmas stuff as I've been collecting white houses for a little display that I want to do. Um, I also picked up some U move. so my dog Chip is 14 and his back legs went. I think he injured himself but we don't really know and he can't walk anymore. So we've got him a wheelchair, we've got him a trailer and we were looking into some U move tablets because they have lots of good things that help their joints, um, good supplements, but they're really expensive. So we were looking but we never actually bought any and the ones we were looking at were actually these ones, you move Max Strength Joint Care Plus. But I went to the car boot sale and I found two packs and she only wanted a pound for these. So I thought we'll give them a go and just see how he acts with them. Um, if they do work, we're happy to pay the price. But we've just never tried you move before so it'll be interesting to see how he reacts to them the next thing i got is a basket so i actually picked up the exact same basket last year at car boot sale i was going to use it in my bathroom but it was a little bit too big for what i wanted so i'm keeping it for the dining room 
and I've been on the hunt for some matching ones just so I have a little set and I found another one. This lady wanted £2 for this, she wouldn't budge on the price. Uh, last year I think I got one for a pound, so not too bad of a deal, could have been better. Um, the next thing I got are uh, some salt and pepper shakers, they came in the box. They're by Rington's as well so they match all the plates that we've been collecting. And they've just got the most beautiful blue and white design on them. That's the pepper one. That's the salt one. They're unused. They're just a little bit dirty. I think they've been in the garage. But they'll be really nice for our kitchen when it's done. And then I also picked up from the same lady this bust. It's... I don't know who it is. I'm not even going to try and guess. Um, he did have a nose. But when I was showing my partner when I got home, I dropped him on my foot and I broke his nose. So... He doesn't quite look right anymore, but I'm going to try and DIY a nose because I can't find the end. I don't know where it's gone, but that was only 50 pence and I thought that would be nice in my displays, in my glass cabinets. Um, quite a boring one, but I got two tea towels. These were a pound each and they're really large. And we've been on the hunt for some nice tea towels and I thought they were a good deal. Um, next thing I got, a headlamp. This was a pound. I needed one of these for ages because when we take Chip out for a wee at night, the outside lights don't really light up the grass area and because we have to carry them out it can get a little bit messy so this will come in handy um i also picked up a tablecloth it's just this really beautiful cream and gold one it's got shiny gold thread running throughout um it's big enough for our current dining room table but also the new one that i'm on which i'll show you after the next item um this is the other side it's just fully gold with stags on it and that was only 50 pence which is a really good bargain and I'm very much excited to host at Christmas and then the second to last thing I got is a dress this is from ASOS originally in a UK 10 and I only paid a pound for this and it, I think it's more of a beach cover up it has a really deep V in the front and the back so I don't think I'd wear it by itself but I'm thinking a nice bralette and maybe a denim jacket at a festival in the summer so really like that it's not too short but it is on the shorter side and it's got these really nice frills on the front you can't really see and then the last thing I want to share with you is what I'm sitting at right now it's a dining room table and chair set so we bought a table and chair set off Facebook marketplace about two years ago for 50 pounds and it's really nice and it's done the job and it has a really nice bench seat that goes with it and we were gonna work with it but it's a really dark sort of mahogany colored wood I have a feeling I can sand it down which is what my initial plan was um, but the chairs are really uncomfortable, they're really small and the shape of everything is just very strong and medieval and it doesn't quite match the vibe that I wanted in the house. So I've always been just like looking on the side for a nice dining room table and chair set that matches my Parisian style that I want to go for. And I found these chairs today and there were six of them and they were lovely, they're solid wood. I will put in some better clips but they've got a really big wooden base and I love the design on them and they have a shabby chic finish to them and I really like them and then to the left of them was a stand of locomotive trains on a table and I just peeked underneath the tablecloth and I found these really beautiful legs that must have belonged to a nice table so I lifted it up there there and that's when I found the table it was hidden so I feel like it was meant to be um, but it has the most beautiful legs and it has these really nice squares carved into the wood that go along the tabletop and then it has a solid wooden tabletop as well it is painted blue so I need to sand that down but the rest of the table is perfect and they said they wanted £60 for it and that they would deliver to my house on the way home from the car boot sale and it just felt perfect so I sent a few photos to Zach and I walked away and then Zach told me to just go for it so I went back to buy it and there was another lady looking at it and I had four more I was like oh my god I've lost it what am I gonna do and then while his wife was talking to the lady uh, the guy came over to me again and was like do you want it you were here first if you give me a tenner I'll say it's sold so I handed 20 pounds over to him and it was mine and he dropped it off a few hours ago I gave him the rest of the money and it's perfect I love it we had our dinner on it in the garden while it was still sunny and it's a really comfortable dining room set I have a feeling it's going to feel bigger when we put it in the actual dining room because it's a, like a small box room but I love it and I'm so glad I got it um so you'll have to let me know down below what you think of the blue tabletop because I'm definitely going to change it I just don't know what I'm going to do with it whether to sand it all down and leave it natural or to put a wax finish on it so you'll have to let me know your thoughts and I'll do a video on restoring it and making it more my Parisian style um, but thanks so much for joining me on today's video I've got some really good bargains again and I need to get cracking with renovating the dining room because I've bought so much for it there's just nowhere to put it yet but thanks again for watching I hope you'll have a wonderful day and I'll see you on my next one next week bye